Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another video on the channel. So if you like thin cases and you're a thin case lover, then this case you probably will love as well. So it is the Banks Armor Tint Case for the iPhone 16 Pro. And I've got it here in the blue color, but it also comes in gold and green as well. You can pick it up from the Banks website for $45.99. And so it is a bit more affordable compared to some other competitors who make similar cases like this. And just check it out guys, 1000D. So we've seen we've seen 600D and we've seen 1500D and we've got 1000D with this case. And um, let's check it out. So let's open the packaging and take the case out. And I've got it in the blue color. I do like my blue. And um, here we go. So just check out that material on the back. A really nice texture on the back and I have been running this case so you might see a few smudges on it but I really like it it's got a really nice texture on the back that 1000d Kevlar material Dupont Kevlar is really nice and it will provide some extra grip as well we get a camera ring on the back made of polycarbonate material it's not metal it's polycarbonate material there and uh, we get MagSafe with this case as well and without further ado let me bring over actually let's bring over the scale first and see how much it weighs so popping it on the scale, as you can see, it is 23 grams. So it's very lightweight indeed. It's one of those type of shell cases where you get cutouts for your camera control, power, and your volume action button as well. So let's uh, bring over the Desi T, the Desert Titanium, iPhone 16 Pro. And check it out, guys, in its stunning glory there. And let's pop it in the case. And it's really easy to install. Just check it out, guys. And this is how it looks with the Desert Titanium iPhone 16 Pro. It goes really nicely, in my opinion. I, li I like that contrast between the, the blue on the back there with the gold shining through on the camera lenses there. It looks really nice and really sophisticated. And I'd say this is a nice medium balance between the um, Aurora Armor Air and the normal Armor Air. So it's got a bit more to it compared to the Armor Air. It's a bit more, there's a bit more color to this and a bit more of a, a style to this. But it's not as loud as the Aurora Armor Air or other designs. So if you're looking for a, a, a nice balance between the two and you're still looking for something which is nice and classy and professional, for maybe work or something then this will be a good choice i actually took this to work myself the other day and it did it performed the job really nicely and looked really um professional still so this is how it looks so you can't really even notice the borders around the phone it's really slim and really thin it looks really nice and we get cutouts for the power button there and the camera control and they're really nice and easy to access let's just check out that camera control and we just click it once and if we light press it we can zoom out and we can zoom in nice and easily so compared to some other cases we don't obviously that's not a big surprise to us this type of cutout and we probably don't mind it as much on a case like this because we know we're going to get cutouts and things like that the top and the bottom are nice and closed so you will get some extra protection there from scratches and things like that we get cutouts uh, on this side here so um, it's nice and easy to access your volume buttons and your action button there and overall just check it out guys so I must say to you guys it is really comfortable to hold in the hand this material on the back is really soft and really grippy as well this texture that they've used on the back is super super grippy and uh, but it still feels comfortable at the same time which is what I like about it and I like the design of it too I like that blue color there and I like the contrast between the blue and the gold too. So overall, just check it out, guys. And let's check out the MagSafe. So let's bring over the Anchor 622 and pop it on the back. As you can see, it starts charging. It is compatible with MagSafe. And let's give it a bit of a shake. And surprisingly, the MagSafe is actually really, really strong on this. I'm shaking it quite hard now. And it's not moving whatsoever. And I think it has something to do with the magnets, of course, but also the back of the case having this texture to it, this special texture on the back. I think that's holding on to the power bank quite well too. So that's nice to see. So no problems with the power bank. It's nice and strong magnets they've got in this. And if we bring over a Spigen wallet, 
and pop it on the back. It holds onto it really, really well. So the wallet isn't moving whatsoever. I'm actually pushing it, but uh, it's not budging. So no problems whatsoever. If we give it some pushes and things like that, um, it's not moving whatsoever. And actually that looks quite nice. The wallet and the, the case go quite nicely together and uh, it's quite a good match. So yeah, the MagSafe is nice and strong. Let's check out the fit guys. And it's not super, super easy to take these corners off, but uh, you do get some nice snaps, not on the bottom because we have these relief slits here. So you're not really gonna get a super big snap there. But overall, it fits the phone really well. You don't get a lot of moving on the side. It's quite a stiff fitting case, as usual with these type of thin cases. And let's check out our screen lip, which we don't get. Of course, on these thin cases, we rarely get any sort of screen lip. And especially with the screen protector, you're not gonna get any screen lip. So probably don't put your phone face down like this on a table, put it down this way because you get some decent camera protection. Check that out guys. The camera protection is super decent, raises quite a bit above the camera lenses there. So you are going to get some nice camera protection there when popping your phone down on a table like that. So if you're going to put your phone down on table, put it down this way and you should be absolutely fine. This camera ring is made of a polycarbonate material and it's not metal. So just keep that in mind, but it still looks pretty premium there and it will still give you some good protection. So this is the Banks Armour Tint Case and I feel like it's a really classy case. It's a really comfortable case to hold in the hand and it feels like you're just holding the phone itself. It doesn't add much bulk at all to your phone. And But let's just check out the camera, sorry, the cutouts down the bottom. And as you can see, there's one thing, there's one issue, one gripe I have with this case and it is this USB-C cutout here. As you can see, it is slightly inaccurate we get a bit more space on this side compared to this side so you can see more of the screw on this side just check it out guys you can see more of the screw on this side compared to the other side so um just keep that in mind i have fed that back to banks the other cutouts are nice and accurate but i have fed that back to banks and they said uh and they have conveyed it to the relevant department as well so hopefully they get that fixed i don't know whether it's just on the model i have or on other models but i thought it's my responsibility to bring that to their attention and um so that's the only issue i have with this case but overall i feel like it's a really good and comfortable case to hold in the hand and uh, if you want to buy this case you can go on the bank's website and pick it up and you can get 15% off your order with my discount code JSTEC15. So definitely use that discount code and get yourself a nice discount off this case. And it is a case which I would recommend. So I actually have used this case myself. I took it to work the other day and um, I enjoyed using it. It's nice and light and feels nice. Keeps the iPhone 16 Pro nice and light and it feels nice and minimal in hand. And uh, that's what I like about this case. So this has been the Banks Armour Tint Case for the iPhone 16 Pro. And it is a case I would recommend. So I will leave the link to this case in the description below. Again, thank you for watching the video, guys. And uh, stay tuned to the channel for the next video. I really appreciate your support. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And I'd really appreciate that. So see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.